University's president is pledging to find out why police detained students and professors last week during a passionate protest against the war between Israel and Hamas. More than 20 people were detained amid the chaos. Tonight, Emory's president is walking back some earlier comments, blaming non-students for ruining the moment. Atlanta News First, Patrick Quinn is live tonight on campus. And Patrick, the apology comes as faculty members are conducting a week-long vote of no confidence against the school's president. Blair, that's right. And tonight, part of that statement from President Finves, it said that still encampments here at the quad are not permitted, but he said that they will be reviewing their policies around engaging with external law enforcement agencies like Atlanta Police, like Georgia State Patrol, which were called here on Thursday. But yes, today on the last day of classes, some professors walked out saying President Finves has got to go. Hands up our students! Hands up our students! Emory professor staged a walkout and rally on the last day of classes. For this, we say shame on the Emory administration. Yay! Calling for the removal of Emory University President Gregory Finves. Vote him out! Vote, Vote him out! out. The College of Arts and Sciences is expected to move forward with a vote of no confidence against Finves later this week. And professors tell me other colleges and schools at Emory are considering the same. This after 20 of the 28 people arrested during Thursday's campus protests were Emory students and staff. Think about the fact that the administration has called the police on our students, right? It really intensifies the outrage. What doesn't help Finves' case is the university multiple times said Thursday's angst was caused by out outsiders on Thursday minutes after the arrest an Emory spokesperson referring to the protesters who set up tents told us quote these individuals are not members of our community on Friday a day later President Finves called them quote outside protesters but this morning Finves walked back his earlier comments saying their quote information was not fully accurate and I apologize for that mischaracterization to say it's a mischaracterization when literally what information did he have that this was his email when we all have videos when we have literally first hand accounts don't panic stay tight we're going to be all right in the days after the arrest the discourse has not died down multiple reports of vandalism on Emory's campus, including graffiti that reads, quote, Emory University of Genocide at the main entrance. And today, crews covering up more graffiti with hateful messages along the quad. And today we reached out to Gregory Finves for an on-camera interview. His team declined that request. However, he went on to say in his statement that he recognizes the outrage here on campus. He is working to rebuild trust. Next up here for Emory, it's commencement, May 11th and 13th, right here on the quad where just last Thursday those 28 people were arrested. From Emory, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First.